Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Ulanzi VL200 bi-color light. I got this from AliExpress. It is a 2500 to 9000K adjustable from warm to cool light with a 5000 milliamp battery in it. Again, I got this from AliExpress and I ordered just the light, but let me show you what else came in the package, which was not a part of the deal for about 30 bucks. I got the light, I got a tripod, and this little camera Bluetooth, actually this is for your phone. But you can mount it on this tripod and that was in the box with the tripod. I'm going to show you the tripod here real quick. That's not what this is about. But I thought it was neat that I got all of this for just 30 bucks. when on Amazon just that light is over $32. Uh, this is a tripod. It has flexible legs on it. it has this neat little mount on top of it uh, that comes like that. You can put your phone in it and nice little uh, ball head um, this is the so you can see that it is the MT11 flexible tripod just wanted to show that real quick but we're going to get back to the light what came in the box was the light a USB-C cord and a diffuser not going to get into all of that but I want to get to, to the testing of the light and I want it to show you what became of that. The thing I did, and let me show you the light here real quick. This is the LED light, the Ulanzi VL 200. And I tested it against this light. Now this is a what I started with. This is the Young Nuo YN0906 version 2. This is a little powerful light. Let me say this in the beginning. This LED light that takes four AA batteries is still brighter than this VL200. It is still a brighter light. I did some testing with these two uh, lights and set up my Sekonic light meter at exactly one foot away. I won't be showing you all of that. And this is what I came up with. At full power, this light was giving me a reading of F7.1. This one at full power was giving me a, a reading of F6.3. So this light is two-thirds stops brighter than this LED panel. So still, I have found <laughs> uh, a LED panel light that these nights with the built-in batteries they have a struggle beating this uh, Young New or YN906 these you can get on Adorama for about 10 bucks which is a great deal because the first one I bought was probably $25 but they were having a sale on these months back I don't know if you'll be able to find but if you go to Adorama if you want this light uh, this is a powerful light, but again, this one is two-thirds less bright than this light, but it's still a very bright light. Um, and also, the other thing that I did, I measured the color temperature between this one. Now, again, this one only goes, it has this little diffuser on the front, it has the cool side here. And you flip the diffusers around, you take that one off, and you pop this one on, and that is your warm. Now, the difference, when I measured, I have an app on my phone that measure color temperature. This one, on the cool side, measured at 55.50. And this one, I could set it to 5550 and it actually matched 
the cool side. I'm going to take this off. I don't want to get confused. It matched. They matched. If I set this one to 55.50 on the screen, it matched. And on the warm side, if I had the warm filter on, this one was measuring 32.50. And to get this one to match, I had to go to 29.30. To 29.30. So it was pretty close, but it was really on point on the cool side. I could set it to 55.50 and get the same exact um, white balance between the two. The other thing was I did a comparison. I have the Ulanzi VL120 RGB light. This was my first one that I purchased to try to replace this and it's just not it was just not powerful enough but as I did look at reviews online I come to find out that a bicolor light definitely has more power than a RGB light and of course this is 120 LEDs this has 200 but the bicolor is still just going to be more powerful so that's why I went ahead and got this one I did a measurement between the two and let me show you that here right now as far as brightness is concerned okay we got both lights set up here we have the multicolor light already pointed it's exactly one foot away from my seconic light meter and we have the other light sitting over here to my left so let's take a quick measurement here at ISO 400 60 of a second and we get a 5.6 zoom in zoom in a 5.6 switch it out both of them are at a hundred percent at 9000 Kelvin let's stick this bicolor the bigger one in I'll zoom out so that you know I've switched them out and let's see what we get on this one we get a F8 F5.6 and F8 okay there's the result on that so you see that the Ulanzi bicolor is a whole lot brighter uh, what was that a full stop I'll put that right right there how much brighter that is uh, as far as stops is concerned but it is definitely a very very bright light so I do recommend this light but I wanted to show you guys that comparison between these two lights and also how it compared to my oldie but goldie young new old YN0906 it is a powerful light on the cheap but you have to use uh, like I said, AA batteries in this. This works best off of regular batteries, not rechargeables. It sucks through chargeables. Rechargeables pretty fast. But you put regular alkaline batteries in it, and it is a beast. But wanted to show you guys that. I hope this helps someone. Y'all, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And you guys have a blessed day.